Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early? I'm not sure if you're familiar with CPT time, but that's color people time. And we ain't never on time. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stay late. I'm forever staying late. You were on time today. You beat me. That's, <laughs> that's because I was nervous. I'll say 20 minutes early. Just, just, just to cover my bases, you know, just in case it's something super important, you know. <laughs> then again, ten, sure. ten minutes late isn't that's forgivable. I, that's what I'm saying. That's Give parking, parking, <laughs> trying to help someone Bye. rescue their dog in the middle of the road. It's so and, many things. And in so 20, 20, 20, 21, like there's always something. You can say there's an alien invasion. No one would question that. They'd be like, no, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because we had what, a couple of UFO sightings this year anyways, and that went way over everyone's head because of the pandemic. I'm like, can we get back to that? People like, just we- become so like desensitized to this bizarre, to like crazy. Did you see that article? No. Yes, I mean, serious. So in the midst, like it was the peak of the pandemic, right? And yeah. L- not LA, but whoever, whatever website, and a, and a government official website was like, yeah, yes, there was a UFO. Like we get it. And people like it went way over and no one was bringing attention to him. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> guys, oh, this is very tactical and I appreciate it. But like, I want to bring this conversation back. Right. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Yeah. There could be aliens just walking all around and you'd be like, okay, well, what else? What else we got? <laughs> Next. <laughs> Would you rather have all traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? That's assuming that I don't be hit enough when I see them yellow lights. Uh, yellow lights means uh, floor it, right? That's what that means. Yeah, technically, Please. indirectly. Technically, it means slow down. To... <laughs> I would go, I probably would choose never have to stand in line again. How it's... many lines are you standing in to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> no. These days, the only lines I stand in are at like a grocery store. So yeah, I, I guess during the pandemic, the traffic lights might be more practical. Regular times, I might have to go with the standing in line. I feel like that that bothers me. No, I'm like, really? Yeah. I'm just, I really, I'm never in lines. I just, why are you in lines? I mean, like I'm in lines, but yeah. I feel like I'm one of those people that were like, okay, the mall opens up at nine o'clock. I have to make this return. I'm going to sit outside in the parking lot at 8.52, right? Well, that's why I get on the lines. Exactly. I beat the lines or I go way later in the afternoon and I'm beating the lines. You can't yeah. go in the peak. I always go in the peak times. I'm yeah. I, <laughs> would you rather spend the rest of your life with a sailboat as your home or an RV as your home? Sailboat, sailboat. Not a sail. No. <laughs> you got time. It's it's your home now. You, you got exactly. time. Exactly. I mean, cool. did Tom Hanks know how to sail in Castaway? Did he really or did His he raft? Figure it out? <laughs> exactly. We just kind of figure it out. Yeah. And plus. On a sailboat, you can go all over the world. Mm. Literally, you're not limited. everywhere. Are you by yourself in this scenario, just sailing across? I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. I mean, yeah. it's not like I've been single for um, ten years. I'm like, what's a couple more by myself on a sailboat? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm going with the RV. Going yeah. With the RV. The RVs are cute though. The sailboat would be cool, but uh, <clears throat> kind of like the idea of like you know, driving around the mountains and uh, yeah, uh, you can like also that. go to the ocean, you know, on the coast. You're also like, tethered to not floating off into an abyss and a storm or the, tr- the Bermuda Triangle. And Well, yeah, uh, the sailboat also like it kind of sketches me out to a certain extent. It's like, I feel like I'm just going to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Never to be seen again. <laughs> yeah. They're like, what happened to her? What's like, going on? on? Tales of the sea, tales of the sea. <laughs> you listen closely to this conch, you can hear her last words. Arg me, matey. <laughs> <laughs> this was the last place we saw her. Right? They were like, oh. it was that pizza hut. They're like, Another wait, sharks what? took her. It's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be like an epic way to go out. I'm you know about it. Works. I mean, you know, you could live a life and die of old age you know i mean that's great or, or you could get eaten by sharks <laughs> but let's expand the story right yeah so i was in the process of being eaten by sharks but then their arch nemesis the dolphin came by 
Ooh. And I was like, yeah, the dolphins got my back. And the dolphins are like, nah, B, we're just here for our weekly beef. We're going to beat them up. They're going to be sad and busted and broken, but then they're going to go back to you. So go ahead, try to swim. Try to swim, play a player. I'm like, thank you. And then they finished me off, but I did get to see an epic battle. Oh, that. so you still die in this scenario. I'm still dying, but like it's- I got to see like a real life sea battle, like a dance yeah. off. But, like these dolphins knew they were going to win. So that's that's how you die because you're in the sailboat. I, I yeah. probably get eaten by like a grizzly bear or something up in the mountains. Why not something as delicate as a nice little? You don't get eaten by something delicate, like it... no. But like you're peacefully sleeping and a scorpion got you. Oh, that's kind of lame. A little bitty scorpion. All right, let the let the grizzly come after you. At, at least a rattlesnake. At least a rattle. See this revenant scene uh, relived in real life. Or like a hawk comes down and oh that'd be fun because like it got you like it went ah! I like it does is the hawk comes down it grabs my head and there's blood everywhere and the blood smell attracts the grizzlies oh okay okay yeah. and they come they start coming down from like the trees they're like oh we're done with this honey right yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah the honey like Winnie the Pooh yeah yeah it's- they're like oh and they're like and then that's your way. Okay. I like the, the build up for the story. The build up. Yeah. There's this backstory, you know, it all started with the hawk. It's like, so who really killed me? Was it the hawk or was it the grizzly? Which one came the chicken or the egg? We'll never know. Would you rather travel the world for a year on a shoestring budget or stay in only one country for a year, but live in luxury? Nah, put me on that shoestring. I never even heard that terminology, but I like, I like it. Yeah. I like it. I, would, I think that's sick. I would, like, yeah. You, <clears throat> you never know what you're going to get into. You never know who you're going to meet. Just because it's not the cutest hotel or motel or hut hut, you still meet dope people. Some of the dopest people be living in like the most craziest spots. I'd be like, put me up in the tree house. Go yeah. ahead. Put me up. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would 100% do that. That's such an easy decision. You see more places. I feel like you have better stories too. Yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was in my golden bathtub for the last 345 days. I'm like, okay, but how was that water pressure? They're like, it was bad. I said, okay, enough said. Yeah, because even that would get old eventually, right. you know? Like, You're going to take so many selfies in a, in a golden bathtub. Even if I could afford a golden bathtub, I, I don't want it. Like, I don't. I'd rather a bidet. I would, I would still just wear a bidet. Is it a bidet or a bidou? Bidet, bidou. Bidou, bidou, bidou. Uh, Yeah, bidet. Yeah, give me one of those. I know I'm going to be gold. It can be plastic. It just give plastic. me one. <laughs> yeah, I would still just wear hoodies and yes. the whole thing. You mm-hmm. wouldn't even know. Yeah. I'd be one of those like bajillionaires that you would have no idea. <laughs> right. And those are the best ones too. You're like, oh, yeah. like come over, have a little barbecue. And you're like, <sighs> okay, but like this was your address. And yeah. You and- you and those sneakers with no laces. They're like, yeah, I like Velcro. <laughs> Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great, great grandchildren? Nah, I care about them kids. You <laughs> do. No. You don't? <laughs> no, they do me no good. Listen, if I could go back and meet the homies, I'd be like, hey, so what numbers were on those lottery tickets? They'd be like, oh, okay, I got you. We see why you're really back here. I'm like, yes, me. Up. And it's I think cool. history is just cool. Going back in the past, be like, so uh, what happened here? You could place bets on like sports teams. Exactly. Like, they so- were like, there was this idea of a Google Eye. I'm like, oh, Google. Google? <laughs> Google? I'll, I'll bring this one to the, the present time. Oh, yeah. I feel like my kids, they're like, great, great, grandmammy, check out this hoverboard that actually hovers. I'm like, so? In my days, we had to push around on a scooter. Wait, no, actually, the, the great great grandchildren would probably be more of an advantage because they could tell you what was what was <laughs> successful. We actually mm-hmm. have to reverse. So, like, they would actually tell you all the things that took off. You're mm-hmm. thinking about investing in stocks and you just like have your list and be like, so what happened to this company? They'd be like, yeah. oh, I don't know what that company is. Okay, scratch that off. <laughs> yeah, that's actually. I also feel like my great great grandkids would annoy me too. I'd be like, why is it on my nerves? I just met you like 35 seconds ago. But I feel like with elderly people, naturally I just respect them, right? Not that I, I won't respect my great great grandkids, but because I know I'm older than them, I'm like, shh. <laughs> great grandma is talking. Zip it. But grandma, I'm trying to. 
yeah learn <laughs> i do think the ancestors would be pretty freaking cool really? like that would just be cool because what if there was like that last family secret because one of them was in this awesome epic battle to the death like, between a dolphin and a shark <laughs> yeah like if only i could have written this down or told somebody and i pop back in right in the middle of that battle i'm like ah they're like <laughs> take this family secret with you and i'm like yes would you rather be able to talk with animals or speak all foreign languages right because if you are speaking all languages right everyone's gonna want you no one no nobody's not gonna want you and you, you're you're a unicorn right they're like oh this 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 person they don't look like i'm like oh but then with animals i'm thinking like dr doolittle and yeah. how it, that could be right i'm like mm-hmm. At first, I would think speaking all languages would be more practical, but yeah. no one can speak to animals. So actually, you would be probably more valuable Yeah, if you can actually speak to an animal. But then how do you prove it? How do you prove it? Because I'm trying to remember Dr. Doolittle, right? Because he struggled with trying to prove it, but it'd be so cool. It would be cool. Because if, if anything, they'd be like, oh, let's just say I was, I don't know, like a badger, right? And our homies, who the homies, the skunks, right? They're like, they're on the verge of being extinct. They're telling us through the grapevine that their people over there in like South Africa just dying out. Like, you guys need to start protecting the skunks. And then I get ahead of them, like, you guys, we have to protect the skunks. Yeah. And then I see whole species because of my talk of the badgers. Yeah. I mean, you'd be, yeah, like, who else can do that? You'd be the only person who, no can one. as far as we know. So I do think that. But will they ever stop talking? Like if I'm in my room, right? Oh. I'm just waking up mm. and I hear the birds outside my window. I'm like, no. Like, you go out on a hike or into the woods or whatever to, you know, find peace. That's noisy. Silence, to find peace and silence. But like you go out there and like you're still surrounded by like. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess I will just virtually do this tour. You see all the, all the animals are like, who's that? Oh, it's just a human. Oh, it's a human. Oh, cool. Human. It's like, you think you got snacks? I'm like, no, I don't got no snacks. Now leave me alone. (laughs) Take my last granola bar. Mm. (laughs) It's like, I'm just trying to feed my little badger family. And I'm like, I'm just trying to live. (laughs) I did like three more hours on this hike. If you, if I could just always hear them all the time, I do think that would drive me crazy. I wouldn't want that. If, if I, I could turn it on and off, it, I would pick animals. Same. If it's constant, then I probably would just say, you know what? All four yeah. languages, still pretty badass. Like, there you go. <laughs> I, agree. I agree. Would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? My vision. Really? Because yes, as much as seeing everything in this world is so beautiful, I think hearing and like the vibrations of something and just music because I I thought of this before like how what I really want to go through life without hearing a song or hearing someone's voice right because some people just have such soothing voices or whatever it may be I feel like I'd be missing so much if I couldn't hear I think I would choose to keep my vision yeah I always I'm like you could still like because then you know you can still watch a movie and read the subtitles yeah, I would be missing out on movies, but okay. Well, then, what are your top five movies that you, I am so sad to see these go? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, <laughs> I feel like I would just be like really paranoid all the time if I could not see anything. You know, I'd be like, "What's happening?" You know, is this happening sporadically, or is this from birth till? That's true. Oh, right, because then that makes a huge difference, right? Because if you've never, then no harm, no foul. But if this is just like right now. Okay, let's just say it happens right now. Like we just lose one of these abilities. Oh, well then, yeah, I'm still going with the no psych. So like, I already know what a tree looks like. It ain't changing. You won't be able to see the sharks coming though when you're out on your sailboat. It's, you know, then I'm gonna have to get a co-pilot and I'm like, hey, make sure you just don't kick me off or I don't fall off. So I'm like, oh, like, sure. Like, let me go fishing. And they're like, Dill. They're like, Dill. I'm like, I don't know where I am either. <laughs> Would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or in a broken elevator? Ah, uh, put me on the lift. Yes. Put me on the lift. Yes. An elevator? 
I don't know if it's gonna the, the cable cord, depending on how high up it is. If it snaps, I'm out. I'm out. But right, if I come off a ski lift, let's just say it's a modern one, like a modern day one. I'm only breaking a couple legs. I can bounce back. And even if it was like guaranteed, I wouldn't die in either scenario. I would still go with ski lift because it's like, I feel like in an elevator, you're more likely to like lose your mind, like get claustrophobic, you know? I wouldn't mind the fresh open air. Would you rather make a phone call or send a text? Oh, phone call. This depends on who I'm talking to, but um, (laughs) if if it's someone who's like already in my phone and I already communicate with them, definitely. Definitely phone call or FaceTime. Oh, yep. I am FaceTime so, above all. But. I was on a FaceTime before you, we did this. I love FaceTiming. I'm like, let yeah. me see that face. They're like, I look like Mr. Potato Head. I'm like, come here. Come <laughs> here. Let me see you. Would you rather be chronically underdressed or overdressed? Over, baby. I'm going to all the PTA meetings in a ballroom gown dress and stilettos. They're like, oh, we, like, excuse me. I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. We can all be seated. Like, you don't even run the P- I'm like, we can be seated now. It is okay. You don't even have a kid that goes to the school. Listen. <laughs> exactly. I am here. I heard there's yeah, snacks that. here. Heard you guys are bringing snacks this week. I feel like I'm already chronically underdressed. So I'll just stay there. <laughs> Would you rather spend a week in the forest or a night in a real haunted house? Oh, no, no, because I got too many people after me in the afterworld. I feel it because I'd be waking up like this. I'm like, oh, whoo. So put me in a forest, coach. I ain't going to no haunted house. Nope. I'm scared. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm with. Yeah, I hate that kind of stuff. I, mm-hmm. I'm i in the forest, 100%. All Just- day with my talking abilities to the birds. With the birds. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you're not even alone. You got you got good company. You know, I got my friends. Would you rather always have a full phone battery or a full gas tank? Am I paying for this gas tank that's always filled, or is it always just filled? Because that's one of these true. is free to charge. One of them I gotta pay to fill. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I was gonna go with the gas tank because yeah. you save money if it's just always full. Yeah, I'm assuming you're not paying for it. It's just like a car; yeah. it just always runs. Oh, then put me in the car. Put me in the car. I don't put me off the grid and put me in the car. Yep. Mm. My RV tank will always be full. Don't have to worry about like, you know, breaking down at, at a no, haunted house and like, <laughs> spend the night. <laughs> Those grizzly bears. Whew. Okay. Would you rather live in a tree house or in a cave? Oh, oh, a tree house. I would, yes because I am a heavy sleeper depending on the day of the week. Right. Mm -hmm. So this can go back to our OG story of dying in the woods. Right. Because if I happen to stumble upon the wrong cave, Mm -hmm. it's a grizzly's cave. They're like, home girl, one of us ain't making it out. I'm like, you're right. It's not me. It's not me. But I'm sure grizzlies can climb trees though. I'm sure some of them got uh, like a a height of fears. I'm sure they don't make it up to the top. I feel like the treehouse would uh, protect you from more elements. I feel like there would be more critters and more things that want to kill you on the ground yeah. than in the tree. Yeah. So it's a bear. Yeah. going for the treehouse. Would you rather go backstage with your favorite band or be an extra on your favorite TV show? Backstage with the band because, you know, TV extra, I feel like you don't always get a chance to either meet or be close to your favorite person, right? Because if they're here, I could be the extra way back here. And I'm like, oh, like, great. I was in the same atmosphere. No, I want to be like, hey, hey. <laughs> no, so I'm going to go backstage with the band. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, let me strum it up. They're like, you don't even know how to play. I'm like, okay. I, I'd have to go with the extra though. Cause really? It, yeah, because it's like, it's then it's recorded forever. You can always be like to your great, great grandkids be like, I was in the background for two seconds in that one movie that one time. Like, oh, show that, that was my, that was my shoulder. <laughs> That's my shoulder. And if you look at the credits, it says person with the shoulder. It's like, I'm a hundred years old looking back. I'm like, yeah, my shoulder looked nice back in the day. Like see that, that nice yeah. shoulder. 
That was a firm shoulder you had there. That was a good shoulder. Would you rather find a $100 bill floating in a public toilet or a $20 bill in your own pocket? You know, I'm going to go deep, deep dive fishing for that scundo. I'm going to do it. Am I going to tell anybody what I had to do to get the 100? No. I I don't even have to think about it. I'm going for the toilet. Yeah. You can wash your hands. It's fine. Ain't no little bleach you can't fix. Is there anything in this toilet? Like, I'm thinking, okay, well, when you said toilet, I immediately thought of a porta potty. (laughs) Because where else would a hundred dollar bill just seriously be floating by? I feel like in my own bathroom at the house, no one's going to drop a hundred and not turn around and be like, oh. Porta potty does change the conversation a little bit. Now you got to like actually physically go in. Kind of like, like I'm saying, like the oh. chances of seeing a hundred dollar bill, it would be because of a porta potty, right? Because if I got in, I was shaking around, trying to, it'd be so squishy and around, cold. like <laughs> it's kind of. And then I just saw it floating. I'm like, is that a hundred? And they're like, Dill, why are you on there so long? I'm like, mind your, bi- mind your business. Just mind your business. Me with the flashlight, like, why is the flashlight? I'm like, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I'm like, I'm like, can someone come in here and hold this light? I think it's switched to the left. I would still go after it, even in a porta potty situation. I might just yes. have to like, burn my clothes after that and immediately deposit it. Like I'm not keeping that hundred dollar bill. No, but that's also long. a good point. Though I'm using my hands, I'm using my sweatshirt. I would take. I would rather take off my shirt and run around half naked through town. I'm like, it's fine. I got a hundred. Those porta potties. Some of them are deep. Like that's a, yeah. that's a far way down. Like you got to like get your whole body in there practically digging around. Right. And it smells. We've all got masks now that you can, you know, block the smell yeah. a little bit. This is the perfect time to work on my lung exercises and how long I can hold my breath. <laughs> I really want that hundred. I'm holding yeah. it. <laughs> Would you rather have a time machine or a teleporter? Time machine, because I feel time can be relevant. So I'm like, oh, I need to go to the grocery store I can put that in the future to five minutes versus the convenience of just that was me blinking uh blinking and then just being there because I don't mind not having to I feel like with the time machine yeah that's kind of like a teleportation it's just a matter of time being relevant okay I see what you're saying I still would probably go with the teleporter though because then you could just it's like unlimited you can just because boom Boom, boom, boom. You know? I'll get back to you. I don't want to be in the lines, huh? <laughs> Teleport to the front of the line. Would you rather speak in rhyme for the rest of your life or have to speak in riddles for the rest of your life? No, I'm doing rhymes because, you know, no, I'm going to have to do rhymes because people be doing riddles in my life in general, right? <laughs> All my exes be doing riddles. And I'll be like, I don't, what's the question you want? Do you want us to go to dinner? Or do you want to stay in? Which one is it? Just give me the rhyme. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't like this t-shirt, but I like you. I'm like, okay, we on the same accord. I understand, but if you're going like, ah, uh, to each their own, but not of their own, will we ever know the unknown? I'm like, so do you want to be together or not? What's in this unknown? Because I'm not understanding anything you just said. Just give me the rhyme. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with you on the rhymes. Like the riddles, you would never get anything done. Nothing would no. ever happen. People would just look at you like. I'd be like, let me get this, this notepad out again. Is she about to come up with something crazy? <laughs> would you rather be able to shrink down to the size of an ant or grow to the size of a skyscraper? Now I'm thinking of the movie Mm Ant-Man. So I'm trying to think in the movie, which one was more beneficial, right? Because I feel like I, my aunt is going to be down to the ant, but the reason why I wouldn't want to be as tall as a skyscraper is because I wouldn't know how big my feet are. So I'm just causing mass destruction. That's where I go. Just from existing. Yeah. And that's kind of crappy, but if I'm a little ant, I'm like, like, it's going to take me forever, but I'm going to be real fit. My legs are going to be jacked. I'm going to look real good. Yeah, ant all the way. And too, like, it's more low-key. You know, if you're up in a skyscraper, like you said, you're causing mass destruction. 
And you know, people are going to capture you and, and run some tests yeah. on you and be like, what is this giant exactly. person? Like, <laughs> business. Would you rather be physically stronger than most people or be able to fly? No, nah, I want to toss some people. I want to pull some Dwayne Rock Johnson and <laughs> catapult. I'm like, come here. That would be pretty, that would be like even more epic if like you have the same frame, like I look the same, but like I'm like the strongest person ever. Because think of all the places you can go to, right? You're just casually, you're this cute little dainty dainty, right? And you're like, oh, like, let's just stop in this little grungy, dingy barber or quick water. And these guys are all having their testosterone fight. They're like, yeah, they're doing these arm wrestles. I'm like, oh, can I try? They're like, oh, okay. Yeah, let's go for a try, guys. I'm like, put $2,000 on it. They're like, oh, oh yeah. Okay. They're like, put it down. I'm like, put it down. And then I'm like, okay, I'm struggling. Oh. I'm like, who's next? Yeah. 400, 400,000, right? Though flying would be absolutely cool, but keep in mind, I have the time machine. That's true. And it goes back to uh, being low key. If you can fly, people are going to be like, pull her down. Pull her down. We got to run some tests. I don't need that news story on me out here. Which one do you go People would think that was like weird that I had this crazy strength. <laughs> but get away from me with your tests. You're like, it's not. It's not a sin to be strong. Like it's not a, exactly right. Like, sorry, some of us just work out more than others. Like <laughs> it's just, it's all about consistency. <laughs> right? You're like, that's a lot of cons- I'm like, it's a lot of consistency. No, leave me alone. All right. Would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? I feel like I already shout. So I think it'd be fun to whisper because true story, just the other day at work, I had to ask the manager for something, but I was like, oh, like, would you mind? like coming over here so I can ask you but as I was saying I was like damn I was like hey I was like I really can't whisper this is what I was like I can't I can't really whisper but like can you just I just I just need to talk to you about this real quick she's like yeah okay I was like hey I really gotta work on that it's just not in my voice you can't even try to whisper it hurts I'm like it hurts to whisper hello I don't know. I just, if my voice is small, I can go like 19 octaves deep. <laughs> that's, but like, that's, just, that's just low. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would go with whisper because um, <clears throat> I feel like that would work in more context. And if I needed to project my voice, there's always microphones. Yeah. Save your vocal cords. No need to strain them. Yeah. Whereas like with the shouting, there's not much you can do to dial yeah. that down. It's like you're just right. always yelling. I'm just trying to find the grapes. The grapes. What Shiloh? Seven. <laughs> like she's a regular here, guys. Don't worry. This can't whisper. This is how she is. I would honestly have to always go to the same grocery store so people aren't always trying to call security on me. I'm like staff meeting everybody. She's back. Just so you guys know anybody that's new. We have this one lady that comes in bi-weekly and yeah, just don't be alarmed. She likes don't grapes. Me. Aisle seven. You're you're part of orientation. Your your face pops up in the pamphlet. Would you rather find your dream partner or your dream job? The idea of love. <laughs> you're like, give me the job. Getting- We're not bitter. <laughs> I know. I'm like, who's bitter? I don't want my dream Because that would be my full time job. Because I want to be oh. alone. Oh, with your partner? Yes. Just making sure my partner is they're everything they need and want. That would be my fault. Oh, hungry. Got it. I already made that snack three hours ago. You need more grapes. <laughs> you need more grapes. Need grapes. Be back in a flash because I can, you know, teleport. This is time travel. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll go, with the, par- I'll go with the partner one. It sounds oh, okay. like, you know, the job is great too, but like, you know, if, I got, know by, if I got hit by a bus in a year, I'd rather, you know, have had a dream partner than a dream job i feel like what is my dream job gonna do throw a pizza party in my memory <laughs> and it's gonna last for all of 20 minutes no at yeah. least i know my partner would be haunted by my ghost which is why they would i can never go to the haunted a haunted house. because i know exactly what i would do coming back as a ghost i'm like you still single right it wasn't my fault i got hit by a ghost 
What would be the first thing you would do if you were a ghost that could just like float around and haunt anyone? I would scare my family. I'd be like, boo, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> oh, just in the middle of the night. Because we have this one step. It's so funny because my parents know they can fix it, but they just choose not to because that's how they always caught us as kids trying to sneak up and down the stairs in the middle of the night because mm-hmm. it creaks. So I would just, I would be on it every night. I'd be like, I'm like, it's me. They're like, oh, I'm like, but I'm back. Yeah. I feel like I'd be the ghost that like wouldn't do anything like super terrifying, but I would just like yeah. make, do, do like a little annoying things. Like, <laughs> yeah, I have to be back just oh, something back. half an inch every now and again. Right. As the whole year goes, it's just keep trying. like, when did yeah, it slow, like this? half an inch, like every day. Right. Like, Why can't I find anything in this house? Would you rather surf in shark infested waters or jump free fall with a parachute into the Grand Canyon? I live in both of these scenarios, yes. Uh, yeah, let's say you live. Okay, that's nice. Then since I'm already in my little castaway version of Tom Hanks, I'm going to have to go for the, the free fall in the canyon. I feel like that'd be really beautiful. Yeah, I'd go free fall. If living was not a guarantee, I feel like I would the shark infested waters would be risky. Risky? I like, no, because, uh, Sharks. Shark infested. Yeah. Well, well, is it shark infested? Like, they could be there kind of thing? Or, like, they're actually, like, circling you as you're surfing? Like, well, okay. To add another layer onto that, is it, an, is, is it an instant kill? Because if I hit myself into the side of the canyon, right? There's a possibility like I knock myself and then I just keep tumbleweeding and I just keep knocking myself. So I'm living through this pain like halfway down. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. Like we can hear her faints. But with the sharks, you know, they greedy. So they all coming in and I'm out. Yeah. If I wasn't. I mean, unless they they, they bite your leg. They get your limbs first. You just have to bleed out. And that would take a while. Uh, But the canyon, I feel like that... I feel like you would have a quicker, quicker death because I mean, unless you hit the side, but if you like your parachute doesn't pop open, you just bam, hit the ground. You're done. Oh, like, okay. The then I'm going with the Canyon. Would you rather have the lights on or off? If you knew the room was full of snakes, there's a couple of things going through my mind, right? Initially my answer was no. Right. But then I started thinking that with the lights off, there could be more snakes than I'm imagining, right? But if the lights are on and I see that they were just all really loud and noisy, but there's only three snakes, I'm like, oh, okay, that, I can get through this. But if the lights are off, I'm like, <laughs> that's true. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh. right? Yeah. Cause I'm psyching myself out. Yeah. But then on the opposite side, the lights could be on and there's a hundred snakes. I'm like, can we, we can just turn this off. I don't want to see what's going to happen next. Yeah. See, I would want the lights on. I'd want to see them coming. I want to be able to look them in the eyes. Like, <laughs> you, me. I can't, I can't just be sitting there knowing that there could be a snake like right here, you know? Uh, don't do it. Okay. Like, okay. Lights on. Like, like you said, lights off. Your, your head goes like worst case scenario every time. Yeah. <clears throat> Light, okay, you got me. I flipped. You got me. The lights are on. The lights are on. Can't do it. <laughs> do I have good, like, good shoes where I can, like, stomp them? Yeah. Can I, can I fight these snakes? I'm Like I told you, no regards. No regard. Where's the loophole? Where's the there, loophole in this situation? Do we have the, weapons? This would be a cool loophole. Okay. So you're in this room, but the walls are relatively close where your whole life you've been working towards being the the perfect best world renowned parkour person right <laughs> okay. and snakes they can't really all the way up right They're, it's not like they stick they can get high up but that's only as high up as like their tail i think will yeah. allow them to. so if i'm good at parkouring right so i get to the top and then i kind of my legs just now you know, can split like this because I've been working on my splits as well. And I just kind of <laughs> all the way to the exit. Okay. Oh, oh, would it, would you rather have it be a room full of snakes or a room full of spiders? Like a lot of snakes and a lot of spiders. In this oh, no, I heard you. Oh, I heard you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying not to. Uh... 
because now that's a different scenario because the well, spiders can fly the wall a little bit more uh, efficiently. Spiders can project themselves across the room. I can, I can make it right. Keep in mind. So out of, we'll say out of the 50 spiders that are in there, right? Cause it's a small box. We'll just say for now. Okay. One of the 50 is poisonous. Right. And you know, this is like the, the, the head spider, like the master spider, you know, like when you're playing a video game and you're yeah. about to leave and it's like, fun old battle. You're like, I have yeah. no idea. And I'm right. Like I've parkoured my way up. Right. Because not all of them can get up as fast as I can and parkour to the end. And now here's, and I'm like, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. It's Spider-Man straight to the back of my neck. And then took me out. I'm like, where were you? Couldn't you just done this from the beginning? Like, why'd you make me sweat? Well, that, the same could be with the snakes. It could be the, the master snake, the master um, poisonous. Okay. You're right. Rattler. You're not all snakes are poisonous. Not all. Not all. Well, okay. Because if none of these snakes are poisonous, I would have been doing some Hercules things, right? And like tie them together and be like, you two gone. You two gone. You two gone. Would have made a whole hula hoop out of all of them. They can still bite you. They can still like scratch you up. I would be fine with that, knowing that I wouldn't die. I'd be like, cause then, then hear me out. This is gonna go back to now a couple of stories. Let's link this amazing story together now. Okay, I love so, how connect. <laughs> so they all I have like all these little bite marks from shark. I mean, from these snakes, right? And then I go back into the future with my great, great grandkids, right? Yeah. And they're like, Grandmama, you're so cool. And then I can embellish the whole story. I was like, you know, Samuel Jackson on Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> that was my real life movie. And then <laughs> I'm like, this one, I got when he did this. And this one, I was trying to get the snacks. And then he said, Hux. I said, nah, B. And then I threw him out the window. And then this one, I was in the porta potty. And he was like, <laughs> I said, nah, B. And I threw him this way. Yeah. Right? Porta ah. potty, dig, digging for that $100 bill. Exactly. Because when I wrapped them together, I said, there you go. And I hung them upside down. I said, stop playing around. Pick up the $100 bill. Got them up. And then that's how Grandma got a $100 bill. They're like, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've also got your shark bites. Yeah. That one I'm going to have to, I feel like I don't really have to lie on that one. Like, yeah. You got your butt whooped? Well, grandmammy got her thigh bitten by a shock. I was like, wow. You're just so jacked. It's like, how are you alive? Your right? head's all jacked up because you got, you know, you ran to a cliff in the Grand Canyon. You got like a hip sharp bite, snake bites all over your eye. Like, I was like, who are you? <laughs> like, exactly. I said, and one time I was in the Cold War. They're like, the Cold War? Weren't yeah, you time born travel. in I'm like, Whose story is this? And I traveled all around the ocean in my sailboat. And yes, uh, with barely any protection. <clears throat> I caught my own fish out of the sea and lived eventually with the crashed into an island and had to uh, fashion a house in a tree. And uh, yes, I found all the Amazons, Princess Diana, Wonder Woman. Guess who taught her the moves? Guess who taught her? Yeah. I did. Now what? Now what? Yeah. And they were like, you're too great. We can't have you here. So then they booted me out. And that's all. <laughs> you're, that's too all about it. It. you're too <laughs> great. You're making everyone else insecure. Exactly. Yeah. They're like, wow, grandmammy, you should write a book. I said, no, because the government's still looking for me. For what? I said, <laughs> we can't get there. And then that's where I would turn into Ant-Man, woman. Right? Ant-Woman, yeah. And yeah, this could be, you know, well, you, you write, you you write your book. You send it in anonymously to like some publisher. You mm-hmm. just leave it like in the movies. You just drop it off, and they find it. Like, what? yeah, you want this, and then you shrink down to Ant Woman. They'll never find you. Never find me. I'm just living my life out of my days as an ant <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of my life. They're like, she's got sixty more years left. I'm like, yep, as an ant, because I uh, wanted my story to be told. That's like the way to do it. Like have like some epic life with these crazy experiences yeah. and then just like one day be okay I'm done and then you just go off the grid and uh completely off the grid just, that would be cool even in a non-sketchy way like even if you didn't do anything sketchy you're just like okay I'm done now all right bye yeah nice knowing all of that, that would be cool that would be really cool and they never heard from her again until so she was a ghost 
you live in a like a low key life, you know, by the the docks, and you just live off fish and <laughs> live yeah. in a little hut. And people are like, oh, like you're, you know, such an average person, or you know, low key person, not even average, like low key person. You're like, oh no, let me tell you about. Yeah. Let me tell you a few tales of my past. Yeah, this way, this way, this way. Look at my sky. Like, <laughs> you know why they call the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon, right? They're like, why? Like, I guess I can never. You'd be like I that contract. person where the, the kids are out on your property because you own a bunch of acreage, living low key. You bought up all the lots around you so no one could build houses around you. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, some kids out camping they have a fire they're telling ghost stories or whatever and you're like oh we got these kids out on my my property so you go out there with your shotgun you don't shoot them it's just for a scare tactic and you're like yeah oh, oh yeah they're telling ghost stories or stories you're like hey you kids you want to hear a real story <laughs> like that creepy old person like, uh, a real story. <laughs> they can't mess with you because you got you su- right you strength remember we're the strongest yeah oh ever. yeah but like try me like try let's me. beat her up i said with my ninja because skills no that lady, I acquire. But you got like a super strength bow, 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 yeah. bow. and then then once you knock them around a little bit then they listen to you like okay let's hear her out yeah she probably does got some stories yeah. does have some stories it's like-, like on the hundred acres there is a treasure chest that has two hundred thousand dollars in it if you can find it We've changed now. We we change our answer from rhymes to riddles. Now we just speak. Oh no 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 no! Okay, I can make it into a rap. Okay. Uh, uh, Treasure chest. Uh, <laughs> you got this. Um. Okay. <laughs> if you want some cash, listen fast. Grandmem is gonna make you run real fast. There's something in the garden beneath the trees. Find this treasure box and get them keys. Hey, that was good. That was good. like, man, that was still a, that was still a riddle. I'm like, shut up and go find the treasure box. <laughs> Just go get it. I mean, it's still pretty much to the I'm point. Trying to give you, you know? money. We didn't have to like do any advanced equations or. No. See, I would like, I would, you know, I'd, I'd want him to run around a little bit. I would be like, here's your first clue. <laughs> That to pay. Bill. And the, the treasure is really just a hundred dollar bill at the bottom of a porta potty. <laughs> Could you imagine this entire store just links back to this one hundred dollar bill and it has the it's the sweatshirt, it's the sweatshirt from the day that pulled it out, and it's yeah. in this elaborate treasure box, right? And yeah. they're like, Why does it smell so bad? And then they have to <laughs> dig through this crusty, like dried up sweatshirts, like <laughs> hammer out this hundred dollar bill. And they're like, Where is the rest of it? I'm like, Oh, I forgot. I used it over the years. My bad. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. My memory is uh, uh, you know, a thought. <laughs> but thanks for uh, retrieving my sweatshirt. I haven't seen that in a long time. I was looking for that one. It still fits. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> that was good i think if you do this again you have to make a story at the end of it i think that's the best part of it we did yeah we totally that's what i'm saying that things. was so much fun to just randomly make up stories along the lines and yes yeah <laughs> we we, we fit, fit it all in there we have adventure we have um uh you know struggles that we had to overcome it's the, what is it called? Oh, we had the hero's journey. We pretty the much had hero's a hero's journey. journey. Yes. Yeah. And all ended, you know, happily. We, we, we made it to we old did. age. Yes, we made it. Yes, you're we right. We made we it. The whole hero. <laughs> yes, we did do a full journey. Yeah, yeah. I accept. I accept. 